Mic sound. We're in. We're in. We're in. Welcome all. We've got Calvin, me, I'm Calvin, and Bernard commentating. Just Calvin. And uh, looks like we got Shane and Oldham. Chain and Oldham. And Oldham. You remember Oldham? Oldham. Remember when people would play him? Chain and Oldham. Because, and we didn't have Oldham. Starville, remember them? You remember Oldham? Remember this guy? Yes. I, I, I wish to go back to a time where all I had to worry about was Oldham. Simpler time. Much simpler Oak and, time. Oak and Olds don't have go again. A very different game. Very different. All right. So I think the first question is we're going to see is how many cards are in Patrick's deck. Because I anticipate Olden will be going fatigue, basically blocking out every turn. Probably. So the impetus is going to be on Patrick to play his cards right. Just play his cards right, deal enough damage. All right. Looks like they're gonna get started. You got a little reveal there, so I think it's important to note that Patrick is using the Aether Iron Weave instead of Husk, because he knows his opponent is going fatigue, and if he's going fatigue, six block just is not more valuable than gaining two extra resources. Yes, that resources is crucial here for Patrick. Resources are huge, because he is going to want an Eclipse turn I think Urser is a mandatory part of the win con here. I don't, I don't, if, if Patrick doesn't get Urser out, it's going to be very difficult for him to win in this fatigue strategy. Yes. All right, so it looks like Oldham first. He just arsenaled, didn't want to let Patrick filter his hand. Which is a good move. Patrick Shackles. Yep. Patrick, Patrick creates a rune chant, Shackles. Pitches a yep. blue. Pitches a blue with blood debt, so he's setting up his banishes late game. Pitches another blue, comes in for five. With the shrill. You got a little shrill of skull form. Looks like opponent is crowding. He's trying to find his fuse cards. <laughs> JK, JK. <laughs> This is a different guardian, different, different world. Different hero. How many cards are in Chain's deck? Let's see, he Chain just... has 63 right now. 63, so it looks like he's running about a 68. Is yep. what I would say? Looks like Something it. like that. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7, 67 looks like. All right, so we get a little sink here. We got an ice and earth react, it looks like. Yep. Yep, so oh, Ice this, Reacts are going to be big through this matchup, this, just slowing him down. This Indy Arsenal team is very good at having Pulse of Ice and Loft in their first hand every game. <laughs> Alright, so I'm assuming because there is no life counter, or there is now, uh, all of the damage was prevented? Yeah, it looks like it. There's a sink, ice react, ice and earth react, and a crown that turn coming in with the four, no frostbite. No frostbite. I think yeah, he's just gonna take the four damage at this point in this part of the game. I don't think Chain is worried about taking damage. Oh. If it was a frosty, <laughs> yeah, probably probably want the winter swale uh, on on the field. On the field. All right, we got our first banish. Okay, we got that. a we yellow got a bounding. Hit. We like it. All right, a little captain's call action. Captain's call. Let's see what he chooses. Oh, captain's call mm -hmm. minimalism, and then a shackle. So this so captain's call guess... has go again, probably. Uh, Sorry, I mean uh, plus two. Yeah, yeah plus yeah. two. So you got two plus three, five plus two plus three. So eight on this guy. I can do math sometimes. Two, five, three, four, five, six, 
three. Yep, eight. Maybe nine because it was played from Banish, or is it, or is it already a? Uh... It's th it's three. It's already with gotcha. the Banish, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So it's eight. With go again. Here's one block. Four. Nope, another sink. So just just protecting his life here. Yep, seven plus crown is eight. And Patrick is going to always try to line up his actions in a way to minimize how often he breaks the chain mm -hmm. to kind of limit the effectiveness of Ram uh, Ram part. Ram part. <laughs> I anticipate the further we get into this game, the more in the tank Patrick will get because his lines are going to become wild. Sir, here comes the Frosty Four. Frosty Four. Does he consider a three block in an armor? Does he just take the, the frost? Hard to know when you don't know when you when you don't know what kind of banishes you're gonna get. Yep. Oh. Okay. He blocks four okay. with his armor. Likes his hand. Interesting. I really like it. Let's see which banishes he gets. Get? No hits. No hits, but no really good cards too, so not too upset on that end. Red, red belittle, revealing a red bounding demigon. All right, so does he get the red minnowism or the blue? Well, he's got one card in arsenal, one card in hand, two floating. <clears throat> Probably a red. Gets a red one. Like he gets a red one. Coming in for three right now. What does the opponent do? I'm gonna guess he blocks. He pitches. Pitches crowns instead of tunic crown. Interesting. That is interesting. I guess he just wants the two floating for Rampart. Makes sense. Blocks one. Oh. Ooh, we got an Art of War from Arsenal. Flash this is what we like war. to see. He's banishing a red bounding honey. Draws two, opponent takes what, two? Three, takes three. Nice. Oh no, he gave a Gogan here, didn't he? Uh. No, this has Gogan naturally. This has go again. Oh yeah, there's the counter. So opponent took three. Yeah. <laughs> All right, squeaking some damage in, that's good. All right, now he's figuring out. Yep. He's got to break the chain yeah. at least once here. For sure. So Rampart was pretty smart. Oh, showing all his cards. <laughs> <laughs> A little intimidation here. <laughs> yeah. That's going to break the chain. Yes, He's sir. unfortunate. It's going to give that Rampart some real value throughout this turn. Yes, sir. That Rampart might go to three this turn. It could. So we've got a bounding for four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, four, four. I see eight. And then the Art of War? Oh, yeah, nine. <laughs> Art of War is a pretty spicy card. There we go. Yep. Six, seven, eight. Point of blocks blocks eight. eight. Taking one, I'm guessing. They're probably they're probably going over the mathematicals here too. That's the damage we like to see. He keeps it on top. The shadow puppetry trigger. Looks like he kept it on top. The question is, does he just come with a Rosetta to try to chip in some damage? I mean, the opponent can still walk, still, hitch. Uh, okay. There, oh, he still has to shackle. Yeah, so if he shackles, he gets the, yeah. Okay. Come okay. deal with the 
little Rosetta. So yeah, the physical is going to be blocked by a Rampart. And then he can pitch for AB1 here with the Tunic. Okay. Takes one. Gets a little chippy in. Yeah, that was a good turn. It's like it's like five damage. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this match is going to be. A lot of small little pokes here and there, but yep, you're going to hope that the pokes get a little bit bigger as the banishes get a little bit more intense. And Oldham is just going to probably try to save two cards in hand every turn, one of them being an ice blue. If he can't do that, he's just going to keep one card to put in Arsenal. Patrick likes his hand again. Likes his hand. Oh no, he didn't block, did he? No, he didn't block at all. Okay, yeah. I don't think you can really block in this matchup. Your life total is kind of irrelevant as chain here. Do you really care more about your deck? That is very true. The casual seven card hand, effectively. Three, four, six, seven, yep. With the frostbite, probably has enough to pay for it, hopefully. Oh, yeah. Always go into the tank. Yes, sir, he's in there. He is firmly in the tank, thinking out this line. The, uh,. The Shadow Averser definitely makes things interesting for him.
opts to not get a crown this turn, even with Tunic up. Very interesting. Pretty interesting. Oh, one hit. One hit. Hate to see a Revel go. Yeah, you really hate that. Gene invert. Inverts could be very good in this because uh, it looks like Oldham only has AB1. I don't know if I saw him pitch any action cards yet, though. I mean, blocked any action cards yet. Rue. He has not blocked, he's pitched his Winter's Bites. If you're in the game, you can search his graveyard. No, I can't. I can't. You can't? Uh, I'm, I don't a have to go. I'm a spectator, yeah. Interestingly enough, he may start to fall behind a little bit without having his crown here. Right. He might take a little more damage. That's turn. Yeah. Well, setting up an arsenal card. I wonder if that's an Art of War in his hand. Or a Shadow Puppetry. So Ultim has three cards here to come in this turn, so... Wow. Man, and Oldham's at 17. This is... Yeah, this is looking pretty good. Ooh. Oh. Okay. okay. So he wants the channel. Yep. There's an invert target, though. Um, yes. Camera costs three and channels. He used a tunic counter. Okay. Yep. Okay. So, interesting. Really trying to slow Patrick down. I think Patrick needs to take an off turn here. He's going to just kind of build up some banish. Cards in the uh, Patrick stack. 33. 33. 33. Yeah. He's, he's 33. in a good spot right now. He's in a great spot. <clears throat> I think you take this opportunity to filter your hand a bit and then build Banish and then have a really strong next turn. Yep. The worry is if Oldham has a full hand or a close to full grip on his next turn, he could get two ice cards in his pitch he could threaten i still think you I, I still think you maybe attack with one card but i don't think you you know get him to not have a four card hand or commit at least one card to blocking or at least take a little bit of damage next turn yeah we have seen chains fight through channel before so i think it's just more taking it you definitely as the olden player, you want to see those channels later in the game. This is this is a pretty good time to see them. Yeah, especially Shackle 6. He can fight through it. If he gets a really good banisher, he, he could fight through it. You could have a ton of blues. Ooh, Ooh double revel is hard, but man, we get... Uh, sorry, we got Eclipse and we got... Yep, uh, Ghostly yeah. Visit. Ghostly Visit. Bounding, like a yellow bounding. Yeah, it looks Pretty like good. Pretty good. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight card hand here. Cards in his deck. Third, 27. Yeah, Patrick really I got in the tank here to figure out that channel math. Yes, the channel math, <laughs> channel math is real. <clears throat> Let's see here, all right. Starting with a shackle, pitching for the shackle. Paying, paying two to shackle here. And then... Interesting. Paying one for the Moff Skies. So it's two floating. Maybe he's trying to threaten a little bit of an on hit here. Just trying to get some cards out of this old Tim's hand. We got a little ghostly visit. Oh, that's my fault. You're fired. <laughs> 
So this is actually fine. Uh, the fact that he, I mean, he's going to get a card out here or, or just get value. Um, yep. Yep. And it just makes it super hard for the old nine player to pitch double frost to be able to keep the channel around. Yeah, threatening a nice little on hits good here. Does Patrick have zero floating? Is that correct? He has zero floating. Zero yep. floating. It costs him two to go sleep. I think if the old time player doesn't block here, he pitches that last card to Rosetta as well. If, the, if he blocks, he probably just hurts some of it. Yeah, it looks like a tough decision for the old player. Oh, and he takes it. Yeah, you got a res out of here, I think. Nope, uh, the arsenals. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. This is yeah, this is it's a I'm little worried. There. <clears throat> a little worrisome. With the channel. He probably has two ice cards, so. Oh, maybe not. Uh -oh. Ooh, very interesting. I mean, he can't whip off a hard ore. I mean, it might just be a hammer attack depending on what he draws. Agree. Probably the the thorn here would have been a good call for Patrick. Yeah, I think he should have thorn there. Is it really depending on what was in his hand, right? Like if it was yeah. a really high impact card. If you can, if you can put him to nine, um, you're, not, you're not sure whether or not the channel's going to stay around for another turn. Which you, you do seem kind of happy here, having two floating. It may be kind of hard for him to get two ice. Yeah. Okay. All right. So it definitely looks like uh, Rosetta was the right call here after seeing this kind of disruption. Actually, going to block. Interesting. He really likes his arsenal. If we get the pummel here, that would be very unfortunate. Go again on the CNC. Okay. Well, here the good thing here is that channel does go away. Yep. So it'll take that frostbite, and channel goes away. He gets seven shackles coming off. I mean, we may see an eclipse this turn. Um, he has four stacked in his underneath his bounding. How many cards are there? Uh, three. And banish. We got three and banish. Well, it'll be tough because he has the Frostbite and only two cards in hand, right? So yeah, that's gonna... both... Well, he also has Aether Iron Wing. To... Yes. Remember? Yes. Whoa. Oh, baby. Ooh. Yes. You got oh, a Shadow. Oh, no, you get Ben Hollowed and the Invert. So you have six total Blood Deck cards right now. I'm guessing that's an Art of War and Arsenal. Possibly. That is the hope. So we got a Rift Bind, Ghostly Visit, Bounding, Shadow Verser, Unhollowed, and an Invert. Yeah, that's a. And that channel got sent to the graveyard just in time for the invert. I don't think he can be greedy here and keep a lot and banish, because if if the old time player gets like a dominated glacial, it could really suck. So I think he needs to be pretty aggressive still here. Yeah, it seems like this is the turn he needs to uh threaten eclipse well i mean even if he can't eclipse i don't think that he is in a position to be able to just take the damage and try to set up for eclipse next turn because if he does that and leaves the old player with three to four cards he could find right. himself making six blood dead and then dying to a dominated attack right how many cards are in uh patrick's deck we got 18. yeah He's also stacked really well on the bottom for Blood Debt. I mean, he put two more Blood Debt cards on the bottom of his last pitch cycle, so uh, I think at the bottom of his deck is like nine Blood Debt and one Vexing Malice. I, so I, think, I think he can afford to be aggressive here and then know that he's banishing eight cards with almost all of them being Blood Debt. Yeah. Hmm. Definitely in the tank right now. Pretty, uh, pretty important turn here. Yeah, the fact that he blocked with a swarming and protected that arsenal so strongly makes me think it is truly an art of war. Uh, you, yeah, uh, art of war or shadow puppetry for sure. But I think I've seen three puppetries now. One we have finished. Yep. And we've only seen two art of wars, so. 
I think Patrick's just trying to figure out the math here. Truthfully, yep. yep. There it is. That makes sense. Yep. All right, banishes abounding, so Draw two. draws two. He's, he's hoping for some blues for sure. Um, considering how many blues he's pitched, I think well, it's likely he drew at least one. He has one. three boundings in his banish right now, yep. and he has the Shadow Verser. So he doesn't need much resource, and he, he does still have that Aether Army. He needs go again, though. I think I'm pretty sure he took go again on that. What could be a downfall here is if he didn't draw a non-attack action, he does not have any in his blood debt. So he can't even play the Boundings or the Unhallowed. Right. Hey everyone, welcome back to Bagel TCG. Uh, Bagel, your microphone is atrocious. <laughs> yeah, this is called AirPods. I'm just going to mute myself, but this game looks like it's going pretty good. I was like, did I actually play a Bagel video? <laughs> <laughs> Why do I hear this guy? <laughs> Let's go, Patrick. Yeah, he's got to get he's got to get two cards out of hand at least here. Hope he has like a minimalism in his hand. But well, he pitched a minimalism, so he has to have. Well, he just, he just drew two. That was his last no, card. Like it's, yeah. This is actually looking a little rough if he doesn't have the non-attack. Yeah, if he didn't draw non-attack, this is looking pretty rough. Because he's going to take at least, what, two, four blood debt? Five blood debt? Six, well, unless he plays something else. I mean, he's well, I mean, he, he else, probably, yeah. yeah, he probably, yeah, he, he gave this go again, so he's probably going to do something like, uh, maybe the, not the red I don't know, he doesn't want to play any of those, actually, if, uh, other than the Shadow Verse, or maybe if he doesn't have a non-attack. None floating here, right? So this could be rough depending on what he drew. <clears throat> Three. Oh. Figuring out his blocks here. He's got one prevention from crown. One, two, three, four. Yeah, he needs to push the temperature. We need to we need to see a non-attack come from his hand. I think we would have seen it earlier, right? Um, to not break the chain. I mean, unless it was a go again, right? Like, because he's yeah, not crew, like a captain's call. Yeah, like captain's call or, or whatever. Mavrin's guys, like he's not gonna give go again and then get double go again to something. Oh, Patrick, play Mavrin's guys. All right, I am late to join. Give me an update. How are we looking? We're hoping Patrick has a non-attack action in his hand. Yeah, he's set up pretty well, but he needs a non-attack to play his cards from Banish. Most assuredly still in the tank. Definitely in the tank. Is that Eclipse and Banish, or is that just... It's in banish. banish, but banish. he has. He has. Captain's there we call. go. Okay, that's very okay. big. He also has Aether Iron Weave, though. Yes, he does. Yep, he still has the Aether Iron Weave. That looks great. This looks great. Yeah. Is okay, this is. He's giving plus two? Oh, he pitched so red. Oh. 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 Okay, so he shackled the res out of so the bounding will still have go again. Yep. That's okay, yep. Yep, he's yep. up fronting all of his non attacks to break the to not break the chain. Smart. Yep, so we're taking a lot of value out of this shield. So he should be able to pu push through six, seven damage here. Um, hopefully forcing a couple of uh, card blocks. Is a yellow bounding? Yellow bounding. Of three. So four with Gulligan, or three with Gulligan. Captain's call. Yeah, he sequences really well. Okay. 
I'm uh, slightly triggered by how much uh, empty space there is to the left of that article. But... <laughs> yeah, over here. I'll uh... please blind those cards. <laughs> you can't. That's, so far, that's his biggest misplay. And he just dropped this card on top of like a dice. Yeah. <laughs> he just doesn't care. <laughs> it's like, bro, are we even on the combat chain anymore? On, I also don't here. like the pebbles on the on the equipment instead of the dice. <laughs> You're gonna have to talk to Patrick about that after. All right, sweet. So we got a card out, which is really good. Takes one here. Yep. It's a good card too. This is for oh, this is for three. Yeah, full block. Okay. Oh, did he not? Oh. Oh, okay. Interesting. So he actually did plus one on on the Art of War, which did coach Awakening. Awakening. For no. nothing? For nothing? This is for nothing. Before Blood Dead, right? He took it. How is he getting any of these? Because Patrick took Blood Dead. He, he did it before Blood Dead. Oh, he did it before Blood Dead. Yeah. This is actually really scary. Um, maybe. He has Hopefully you can just block two. Thing, right? He has. Well, he has one equipment block currently. I have two equipment block with the creepers. Block two cards, take three. Well, he doesn't have the resources to use. Oh, he has a search sorry. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, you just block two cards and keep two blues, right? That's all you can. Yep. The eight yeah. iron weave should help a lot here yeah. if he's using resources yep. to block. And how many cards are how many cards are stacked now for his blood debt? Five. 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 That's a and lot. It's two boundings, a rift bind, a shadow of Urser, and a Holland, I think. Yeah. Yep. The only thing he may run into is he needs to keep an attack action the same. Yeah, cards in uh, deck. 14. <laughs> what is the, what's the attack? I can't see it. It's, it's, a, it's a spinal crush. Spinal crush. So he needs to block six on this. Okay, so he's hitting his pitch though now from on this yep. bandage. So remember his first like five cards were blood dead, then a vexing, and then more blood dead. So he's gonna have a shitload to play with. Um He also still has a grass block here. Mm -hmm. Yep. He may even creeper block too. Um Which is probably right. And he's unless he's just blocking seven, because why not? Yeah, that's fine. Yep. Thanks. Yep. Seems right. Good cards. Good cards are good, but let's see what we got here. Life is better. Two blues would be really nice in his hand. I mean, and he has the iron wave, so he he essentially has yep. possible three blues here almost. Yeah. Yeah, there they wow, are. This is this is all the stuff. The non-attack. There's, there's a howl. This one to banish too. That's pretty big. That's huge. <laughs> yep. So even if he didn't have the non-attack. Look at them spray those out. He just needs two blues in hand in the Aether Iron Weave, right? And you should probably be able to kill him here. Yeah. I'm see so impressed with how fast this game is going. Yeah, well, it's been like 45 minutes, sir. Patrick is... Yeah. Couple of cards to think about here. Patrick knew me the tank for a minute. I think it's gonna be more than a minute, Bernard. Yeah, I'm using the the, the uh I'll be right back. Hey, I'm sandwich. Colloquial minute. Anybody else want a sandwich? Yeah, I'll take a sandwich. Yeah, hey, I'll take a I'll pub, take pub. Sure dad. Right How many cards does Patrick have to think about here? A lot. A lot. Ten? Two, three, four, five, six, no. seven, eight, nine, 11, 10, 11. 12 plus eclipse. 11 plus the eclipse. Yeah. Yeah, just a small number. I mean, flesh and blood is already hard with four oh, cards there's in the hand. Shackled. shackled. There's the shackle. Shadow Verser. Shadow Verser. Two go again. Interesting. Interesting. He must have a captain's call. Would he play it? I mean, he needs. Worried about his hand. He needs blues. He 
is he like, going he's to playing that? If he's playing that instead of starting with the howl, I'm just a little worried about what the resources are. Oh, well, the I think it's a blue, so he's going to creepers in the howl, so he has two action points. Double action point. That makes sense. That is a lot to fit the two demigods in the graveyard. Yeah. Yeah. So that's four that cards with blood debt, and then he's still yeah. Two, three, four. Yeah, if he can creepers in the howl, and we started off with a shadow. Okay. If it wasn't Shackled for the, the if it wasn't for the final, he almost definitely kills here, right? Oh yeah, uh, Gozer oh, yeah. says if, if if there's an ice react, this could be insanely bad. Very true. Ice react could just be. Mm -hmm. Monstrous. Not playing around the ice react really, although I'm not sure how much he could. Other than I don't just think like he can. A bunch up front. If there is no ice react, he's going to be able to play Eclipse's turn, as long as it's two blues in his hand. And he, he could uh, play Howl because he hasn't. He has invert, doesn't blue. he? Yeah, he, he does have an invert. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. There was a way to so play around ice react. Yeah, he does. Okay. Okay. And it's two bounding demigods, right? Not three. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He he can play around. Uh, he can play around ice react, right? Uh, he can creepers the howl and then pitch for invert. No, does that not work? It actually does. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So ice react doesn't get him here. As long as he sees. It. Yes. Yeah, as long as he hopefully sees that, then he'll have two floating still and be able to do all the boundings and get eclipsed out and stuff. Yeah, he'll have that and then he'll be able to still see the Iron Weave so. Oh yeah, the Iron Weave is so nice in this matchup, huh? Yep. It's yep. huge. Ooh, Ice and oh. Earth. Oh, it'll be blocking. This is going to be an Ice Earth Reactor. Right? I hope yeah, he's, he's doing the thing we're talking about, where he's playing Howl and then playing the Invert to have two floating still. Yeah. Please put oh, your other card the invert. invert right now, you're saying? Yeah, that makes sense. Just play the Invert right now, otherwise that card gets put on top. Yes. Oh, oh thank God. Sees it. Nice. He is. He yes, asked buddy. Yeah, I'm so glad he saw that. That would have been Oof. such a different game if he doesn't. Yep. Yes. Yeah. He, he maybe has it here now. I think he does. He's played three. Blood debt. He played two? Oh, yeah, no, he played invert. Yeah, he played three blood debt. And then he's having double three. double bounding. And then he comes in with the other card here. Yep, so any he... of his attacks and plays Eclipse. And he does have two action points now as well. Yes, he does. Yep. yep. Yeah. If he goes bounding, bounding, does he have any way to play a six blood deck card? He won't have an action point for it, right? I he is an yeah. unhallowed rights, right? Yep. Okay. No. Wait, yeah, does he only have five? Does he only have five blood deck One, cards to play this two, turn? Three. He uses two action points to play two more cards, and I think he only hits five. I don't think he can hit six this turn. Because the blood debt, he played, I mean, uh, he shackled on the Ursa, right? Right. Yeah. Now the uh, the force pitch on the captain's call does suck here, because that's Cause another, he to play the captain's call. Yep. Yep. And he still needs to get two cards out here, force the cards out of his opponent's hand. I, um, yeah, I don't think he can actually eclipse this turn. No, he won't. He won't. He won't. Get to. But he he needs to get to where he's out of dying to blood debt. Blood debt range. Could he have played the captain's call to start the turn, gave the Shadowverse a go again, saved his shackle, and still use creepers to bring in Howl and then invert with the Ice React on the stack, and then have Aether Iron Weaves two resources floating to get six six um, to get the Eclipse off this turn? I think he could have. I believe so. Yeah, I don't think he should shackle the Shadow, but I'm still glad he saw the Lion of the Ice React. Well, it, it, and again, you know, viewers and, and everyone, it's it's like super yeah. easy to like back. Play it back. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. He yeah. There's also five of us here thinking about lines compared to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're all bouncing yeah. ideas yeah. off each other. 
Yeah. A lot easier when you have five people considering lines at once instead of one person. Still a big turn. Yeah. And then there's also the pressure factor, right? So. Yep. I honestly forgot about the ice react until you guys said something. And then I was like, oh god, this hand could be really bad. You're saying he plays the captain's call and then he's pitching his, his other card to, to do attack so that he's not getting ice reacted? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Yep. All right, so we're right now, we're at a. What are they? I wonder what they're discussing. He should be taking three damage, two from the Urser. No, he ice reacted the yeah. Urser. He double reacted. Sorry, Earth reacted. So, yeah. Ice yeah. Earth. Also scary there. He actually, that means Ultim has gone to second cycle, right? No, he shuffled from Awakening. Oh, yep. that's right. He's coming for seven. A howl is definitely nice here. Get yep. that howl again on his next banish. Yep, I, I agree, which will help with his non attack next really? turn. In this circumstance, he needs to, his last attack needs to be the Rift Bind. Uh, with yeah, that he just has to push damage, right? Well, because he's also got a CP Shadow coming off, um, either in his hand or in Banish. I don't know exactly where it's at. But that'll give him the non-attack with the Rift Bind. Like, it's just another resource that he doesn't want to, in, in case he has to block next turn. Yeah, that makes sense. It's also just way more damage than the, the sword, right? And also, he just needs to take all of, he needs to try to kill him in these two turns. Well, I mean, he can't afford to go to two here. He, he needs to go to three from the Blood Dead instead. Let's turn on skull cap again, which is nice. I'm assuming the opponent blocks out the rest of this. Is that rift bind in arsenal? Or no, no, it's just in his extended blood debt. Right? Oh, he's not playing the rift bind though. Wow. You, wait, should he have taken more damage? Because the Hallowed was for seven, right? He blocked three and took two. I think he took no, four. He, he was at nine. Four, he's at nine. Like four, I, I think he. Yeah. Okay. We think he's going to one here? Oh, no, he's... Take the two arcane, he's gonna block. Gonna go two. He's going to two. Do they do the invert damage? Keeps creepers. He pitched. He pitched for the invert damage. Keeps creepers, that's good. Gotcha. Oh, oh another God. awakening? Second what? Second final here. Yeah, he, can't, he has to full block the final now that he's at two. Wow. This man pulls an ice and loft and an awakening on this turn. Ugh. Brutal. That is brutal. So, so there is something to say though that he does not have. Uh, he's not going to have an arsenal card. Yeah. No so. Arsenal here. If another invert comes off, he's dead to Rosetta Invert. He is somehow dead to Rosetta, Rosetta Invert. Yep. Yeah, so he be running uh he should be running Carrion Husk here, huh? I mean it would have it would have been impactful for this game, but I mean I think that I think Iron Wave's fine. Yeah, yeah, Iron Ray is definitely correct. It's just funny how good Carrion Husk would have been in this specific game. Yeah. In a double awakening game. I, I don't even... A lot of the cards that Oldham has in here, I don't expect an Oldham to have in still. Like the Pummels and the Awakenings and stuff like that. I, It almost feels very Starvo-esque. He can block with three right and creepers and be fine. Block, you mean he has to block eight here. He's at two. Yeah. He means three. So Terror means three cards. Yeah. Three cards. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if he has like. Unless he's got like. Bad blocking hand here. Yeah, that sucks. Um. Yeah, he has only uh, he only has one equipment block with the creepers. 
believe it or not, I think actually, like, if he has a captain's call in hand, he blocks with everything but the captain's call and doesn't need any resources actually in hand because he can captain, uh, give go again to bounding, bounding, then pop the Aether Iron Weave, shock yep. the bounding Rosetta. He's got a block six. Nine. Oh, okay. God. Wrong button. Bro. He goes to one. It's eight. He goes to Why one. not just block the creepers? Maybe it doesn't matter. <clears throat> Maybe it doesn't matter. Nah. He's, this is the last turn either way, right? So. Yep. Yeah. He has one card in hand. Oh, jeez. So, I mean, he can still, like, if it's a blue, he can pitch Howl. Um... Uh, Shackle bounding, and then he can. Or is that a thorn? Ooh, it's the invert. That's fine. So he can. Is there a red bounding? Not that I last saw. No. Yellow and blue. Okay, he he just needs to rip on here then. Wait, the invert was in hand. Yep. Wait, what? Go back. Go back, sec? Why not just invert in response to the... To the attack? Final. He has no, he he has no more oh. non-attack actions. In his Are you sure? Pretty positive, yep. Okay. Uh, yeah, I've only sure? seen him play the channel, right? I can't. I maybe can't. we get maybe we get lucky here and he doesn't have... Uh... <laughs> I think there's a... Ugh. Ugh. I Ugh. think there's a non-attack in the graveyard. If there's a non-attack on the graveyard, it's lethal, right? I can't. But if it's, if there's I not, then. But I'm sure Patrick yeah, considered yeah. it. Yeah, you're right. All right. Can you can I you just... look, or is that against the game rules for you to search? I can't. Graveyard? I don't even have functionality to look. Okay, you don't. No, that's him. And Patrick dies to blood die here. Oh, yeah, he's up. Oh, the double uh, awakening finals. Yeah, see, he's uh, talking I, about it right now. Can yeah, you, just... uh, can you, can you go to, off of spectator and look at this graveyard? Yeah. Yeah, change color to black. Uh, or just go on to one of their teams. Uh, uh -huh. Nope. That's unfortunate. Ugh. Very Very close game. game. Cool. Very. Very close game. Well, congrats to Team Indy on their on their win here. We hate you. With love. <laughs> but we hate you. And we'll uh Ain't that some shit. Ain't that something. <laughs> well, We'll, re we'll record our next games weeks too. So it was a good stream, guys. Good luck to Team Indy in the next yep. week. Absolutely. Hey, well played, Patrick. Yes, and well played, Patrick. Absolutely. Playing to his outs. Very close. Good game, boys. Good All right, guys. We'll see you guys next week. Turn off the stream. GG Team Indy.